Hi, this is uh, Dr. Julian Tong again. Uh, yesterday we uh, were talking about um, this album, which I posted on my blog, um, uh, of photos uh, taken in Bruges, in Belgium, in the summer of 2018. We were cover we covered about uh, actually just a third of the way, and I think we stopped at uh, this photo. So now let's uh, continue. This is an another very interesting photo um it's um on a small canal to i think to the northwest more more or less uh due north of the grant uh, market so it's uh, in the northern part about northern third one third of uh, bruges uh, this house if i get it if i remember correctly is facing this facade is facing north and um, as you can see it's uh, quite elegant and uh, the walls very clean and uh, the windows very beautiful uh, you could also see the pottery uh, that's uh, inside and uh, you see a small the small hedges uh, just right uh, next to the canal so i thought uh, there was a very interesting photo and uh, there is uh this is another photo of um the uh um the the alleyway which uh we talked about actually of this photo it was uh, probably a bit uh 100 meters or maybe just 50 meters away uh it, it was uh this this photo and uh this this is the church that i mentioned um facing a canal uh, next to a square where there were a lot of uh, a roll of uh, quite beautiful houses so this is that church and this is another view and this I think is about uh, two three hundred meters uh, to the north of uh, the Grand Market and um, as you can see this church is quite different in style uh, from the other one so because this one is built in red bricks um, it is quite red to be honest you see the other buildings are not as red so I, I don't know exactly the background but uh, uh, yeah it, is, uh, it stands out and that is why I took this picture and this is perhaps uh, a better view of the stature uh, of the statue of the of the of the square um, just remember this statue is actually facing the church that I mentioned uh, a bit earlier and behind it is the canal if you you can see that uh, little whale jumping out of the water um, the, yeah this is quite interesting you can see also some tourists here and this is um, just uh, about 50 meters down the road uh, in the other direction so this actually is that uh, a church you can see the spire here and uh, the square is to the to the uh, left of the frame very interesting houses because um, we have uh, different colors here we have a pink we have a, a beige and we have yellow and uh, more natural ones so i thought uh, this uh, this is a quite uh, interesting street so i just uh, took a snapshot this is uh, uh, from the north northeast uh, of the um, Grand Market, so we can see the uh, the beautiful bell tower uh, of the Grand Market. From afar, actually, it looks uh, uh, with the, uh, how to say comparison of uh, of houses that are closer it gives you a better sense of the scale of this uh, of this building it truly is much taller than the other buildings and this is actually um in the back in the back in the yard it was taken in the yard of uh, um the museum uh right next to right on the ground market so uh if we could go back here so basically uh, that building was a little bit to this side um, if we have uh, another photo coming up 
that to can show can show you better the location of this building i will i will probably uh, point it out and um yeah this is uh i found this quite interesting because on the outside um the facade was uh uh was of uh, big stones whereas uh, uh on the inside they were of uh, red bricks with the corners decorated in uh, in stone so uh, it's very interesting i thought uh and, and, um, and at the same time quite uh, well uh, in quite good condition so I thought uh, this was this is very beautiful and the right lighting conditions it's quite nice this is uh, uh, to the north of the uh, of the ground market I would say uh, if I remember correctly it is about uh, so if we keep on this road go uh, further down away from the ground market i think it's about uh, two three hundred meters away and there is this building um again uh, the style as you can see the the style of the windows and the, some of the fake windows uh it's it's a bit unique uh so i think it's quite uh, it's quite typically um a flemish so i i took a picture of it quite beautiful this is a, a tourist pass, as you can see from the background to the location. And this is another shot of the church uh, from the alley where there were colorful houses. I just talked about maybe just three, four minutes, three, four minutes ago. As you can see here, uh, the beautiful, beautiful spire. The, the reason I take a lot of pictures uh, and I took a lot of pictures on these uh, on this day was that uh, there were really not everyone necessarily is uh, photographically uh, impeccable but at the same time um, it helps you uh, remember the the beautiful scenery and uh, I think uh, um, it's quite valuable in that sense as a as a way to help you remember this uh, the scenes and this is another angle of uh, those uh, colorful houses this is uh, uh, a bit uh, far away uh, this is uh, I believe it's in the um, northeast of uh, northeast quadrant of uh, of Bruges it's uh i would say that uh, uh if you remember yesterday i talked about those floating robes and platforms uh, those uh, art installations i think this is basically facing the other direction so if we turn around uh, we will probably see those uh, those things and uh yeah as you can see the this old jaw bridge so this part actually can go up This is another old building. This one not necessarily in the best of conditions, uh, but I thought that um, it was a bit quite um, original. It looked quite original. Uh, the bricks uh, you can see have uh, different colors, which actually gives it a more natural appeal. Uh, in today's architecture, a lot of uh, times people uh, think about mass produced things and they want uh, uniformity and uh, sometimes it's imperfections that are that are beautiful right and of course uh true to the uh <laughs> the, uh, the 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 catholic uh, uh nature of um of the region there was a, a madonna the statue of madonna uh, on the on the house quite beautiful and this is uh, uh, that art installation from uh, the art from another angle. This is uh, on the same canal uh, across the ac across the canal. I think a little bit further, e even a little bit further to the northeast. Uh, very beautiful house, very nice. I think the the lighting that day was just perfect, and that's why we got uh, some very interesting. Uh, very interesting uh, pictures and but of course this one is uh, because it's converted to a hotel uh, it's quite modern 
and uh, although as a contrast we can see um, the more traditional houses had these uh, uh, paned uh, windows which I think just had that much more uh, how to say uh, beauty to it whereas the these more functional perhaps more insulating ones the newer ones um, I think a little bit something is missing there don't you think and uh, this is another angle from uh, from uh, the old houses uh, I think uh, maybe we have seen it uh, I think it's the exactly this house we, uh, we have just uh, seen so it's th that house and um, as you can see actually they, these are two houses these are not one houses these are two homes uh, one not renovated another one renovated and repainted so I don't know which one do you prefer I, I think um, personally I think the, the this color is probably better than the brighter blue although uh, certainly a little bit of uh, uh, renovation could uh, certainly improve uh, the exterior uh, although we, we don't know anything about the interior very beautiful houses I think these are very beautiful houses and uh, this is another I think this is a school uh, I'm not entirely sure which uh, what what the school is but uh, I think it's to the east of the um, of the city uh, I think it's uh, probably along what might have might have been the uh, uh, the Hambach uh, or a, I think the city wall the fortification uh, next to the fortification probably w w where it used to be and uh, there are some windmills which I think uh, we will just we will see in a moment so this this is I think it's a school and it had uh, the spire which is quite interesting this is a, uh, a church um, next to the canal uh, where uh, I think maybe it's a monastery I'm not entirely sure so the canal on this uh, uh, that this uh, this couple of these couple of uh, uh, houses are on so if we keep uh, keep going we will see this um, uh, this church uh, maybe it's a monastery and uh, in the monastery there is this church and uh, there are some art in installations there uh, okay this is uh, these are not art installations these are actually sport, uh, sculptures on display this is another small uh, chapel uh, I think on the same canal because um, I think the population used to be much more religious uh, than they currently are and this is the art installation in that monastery so to the uh, left of the frame we see that church and uh, here is a is a building I think on that day there were some people having a, a wedding although um, I didn't know much more uh, and I didn't want to actually take a picture of uh, of people having a wedding without uh, their consent so this is um, instead what I took uh, the picture obviously because um, I didn't have a, a larger aperture um, lens uh, at hand if I had a l larger aperture lens I would have probably shot with an even larger aperture to uh, uh, make it uh, more to give it more separation so you can appreciate uh, uh, the sculpture a bit better but nevertheless I think it's quite interesting and so this is the church if you remember that to red uh, art installation it was uh, to the I think to the nave of uh, the uh, of the church whereas this one is more to the uh, to the other side I'm not entirely sure what is the what's the, uh, the the name of this section of the church but uh, anyway uh, there is uh, there was another tourist here so we have a general idea of the scale of this uh, sculpture this is another uh, another church another church I think I think this is to the due east of the ground market so uh, really to the east of um, of uh, the center of the city and uh, this I think is uh, uh, another view of the uh, of this uh, what I mentioned of this building 
another view. I think it was uh, a school. I could be, I could very well be wrong. Yeah, it's a very typical. Uh, all the city part of its charm was also that um, uh, the city was almost entirely paved uh, in stones. So uh, it's just it's just that me it's medieval. It had that medieval atmosphere, and uh, it is quite uh, um, uh, romantic in that way. And this is another day. I think that was, uh, if I remember correctly, I think that is that day. Uh, they pro was 2018. I think that day the Belgium football team in the World Cup had uh, had a match. Uh, they probably had won the, or maybe the day before. Uh, I think they probably had some some wins, so people were quite happy on that day. Um, so that was the background, by the way, and you can see again the beautiful houses. These are really beautiful houses, I have to say. And uh, this is another shot of the church, which I just mentioned before, to the due east of the center of the city. And so these are the windmills, which I mentioned. Um, the I think what used to be the fortification of uh, of the city of the city uh to the to the east of um of the uh, of the city so it's on the east side and i think uh, to the left of the frame or actually behind these uh windmills we could uh, uh, there is actually a, can a canal so it's like uh, um you know um yeah so so i guess i hope this will help you uh, find it if you go to uh, some uh, like Google Maps, you will be able to probably identify identify them. You could see the flag of uh, the Flemish region, the Belgian flag, and um, not entirely sure what these are the two are, but uh, probably uh, of um, the uh, <coughs> of the province and of the of the city. I don't entirely sure w what they would look like, but. Uh, Anyway, so I think this uh, probably is it for today. We can pick it up again tomorrow to uh, continue this journey. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I wish you a great day.